I made a game with zombies in it. Spelled incorrectly, which drives me crazy, but the gameplay is fun. This is like somebody took Robotron 2084 and dropped it into a rock concert. I usually don't like it when they put songs with lyrics into video games, but this one is awesome. The timing of the game with the music is excellent. That, that, that deserves mention. Because the gameplay is very traditional, Robotron 2084, Smash TV style. Control the movement of your character with the left analog stick on your 360 controller. Aim and shoot with the right thumbstick. This, uh, this really would not stand out in any way were it not for the music and timing with the lighting and music. And don't take that the wrong way, that's not, that's not an insult, the gameplay is fun, but it's the style and the clever use of lyrics, music, stage-inspired lighting and laser effects that set this game apart from Smash TV, because it's basically Smash TV which is basically Robotron 2084 with more weapon upgrades and spread shot and that kind of stuff. And we've got a flamethrower. Always a good choice against zombies. It's not just the same verse of the song over and over again either. It changes, the lighting changes, the mood changes, and the enemies change along with it. Very clever. Smash TV is a harder game and packs a longer, more challenging game, but for one dollar, you should check out I Made a Game with Zombies in it, because that's what it costs. One dollar. It even says so in the lyrics to the song, which means they're not going to be able to raise the price, because then I guess they'd have to rewrite the song. What if I want to pay in rupees? Nice variety and nice use of the weapon power-ups. You notice that there's only a limited amount of shots with each of them. There's also a shield and speed increase, all very similar to Smash TV. You can play up to a four-player co-op game locally, and this is an indie release for Xbox Live Marketplace, the marketing term indie, which is used instead of budget. Nobody wants to buy a budget game, but they'll buy indie games. It's like alternative music. What's it the alternative to? Well, if you like the looks of some other games that I've reviewed, like iDracula or Mini Gore on the iPod, and you enjoy Robotron, Smash TV, and Geometry Wars, and you have an Xbox 360, definitely check this one out. The only downside is that it ends so abruptly at the end of the song. Get as many points as you can before the game ends, and you're rewarded for the extra lives you don't use I'd have liked it to go on indefinitely. I don't know why they couldn't have just looped the song. Maybe I missed something, I don't know. I'm, I'm not one for reading instructions, if there are instructions for this game. If it moves, shoot it. Oh well, they made a game with zombies in it, and you can play the game. Lots of people recommended this game to me, so thanks to everybody who recommended it. Thank you to Lee from Still Gaming who recommended it because it has zombies and flamethrowers. You guys know me so well, am I that predictable? I am. I